I want to welcome you to tonight's Finance Committee meeting for June the 12th, 2023. Before we get into tonight's business, we have a special presentation by Mayor Marlon Coleman. I'm going to ask that those members of the council who are here would come down and join me. And I'm also going to ask that our special honoree, Mr. Dick Morris, will come forward. And it's okay to clap. So tonight, we are here to recognize Dick Morris for his work uh, as High by the Clown. He joined the Bedouin Shrine in Muskogee in 1973, where he has served as the Board of Directors, uh, Chief Executive Potente, Director of the ROJ, is a member of the Muskogee, uh, was a member of the Muskogee School Board and an active civic business leader in Muskogee. Mr. Morris is a lifetime member of the Shrine Kabiri organization, and as of 2023, has 50 years of service to the Bedouin Shrine. Clap. <laughs> Whereas shortly after joining the Bedouin Shrine, Dick joined the clowns quickly, uh, leading to the character of High Bai, which he has used throughout his clown career. As High Bai, he has walked countless miles and community parades in over eastern Oklahoma, including six to 12 Christmas parades each year. If you didn't find him in the lineup, you would have found him on the street, in the crowd, doing what he does best. School visits uh, are a favorite where he sits among children and tells them magical stories of how to get those berets in their hair and shows them he can fly, and yes or no, did not really kiss the teacher. Whereas, <laughs> He said he did too. Whereas another favorite time in the Shrine Circus, there was often uh, time to see kids he'd seen at school saying, remember me? They would ask and High Bai would always have an answer. High Bai would always be in the arena with the crowd. The most asked question among young crowd goers would be, where is High Bai? And whereas Dick Morris has sponsored a clown college in Bedouin Shrine for many years, he taught early teens uh, each year clown history face makeup, outfits, balloon art skits, and the last two uh, days he would cast, he would take clown uh, class out clowning. It was a week full of fun and adventure. Whereas Dick Morris, otherwise known as High by the Clown, is a legend. He is a leader and mentor to our Shrine Temple and Clown Group. He is an example of dedication to our Shrine activities and to our community. Mr. Morris is the creator of Smiles and our children, both young and old. He is a friend and brother and neighbor. And I made my own personal inscription at the bottom of this proclamation. Thank you for making Muskogee great. Because from my time here, uh, whether I was on or off municipal government, you have always been kind, respectful, courteous, uh, and always warned me where the potholes and the mines were in a political sense. <laughs> so I, I am very happy and honored that I had to be the person in office to sign this proclamation declaring today as Dick Morris, High by the Clown Day. So I got to tell you two stories. <laughs> so the first one's my favorite clown story. I go to the parades ahead of the parade so that I can play with the kids before the parade starts. So here's a trailer full of five and six year old dancing girls and one of my daughter's best friends is standing by there, and her daughter is there, so I'm playing to her daughter. And she's being kind of standoffish, so I finally said, aren't you the girl that's supposed to kiss all the clowns? She said, no. I said, why not? She said, because you're fat and you're ugly. <laughs> then I gotta tell the other funny story about the clown college. We took a bunch of teenage kids, a little younger some, and we dressed them up and we did all kinds of stuff around town. Well, we went to the exchange club, and if you've ever been to the early exchange club, it was kind of rowdy. So one of the skits was one of the clowns would lay on the floor. Who is it? You're supposed to say it's Elvis Presley because he's dead. But she laid on the floor, and somebody in the inch club said, It's my wife! 
<laughs> and so, Mr. Mayor, I'm having a party Saturday at 6 o'clock at the temple, free food and free drinks, games. We're actually having a hatchet throw, too, so okay. you're welcome to come. I will come throw the hatchet. <laughs> please, please do. <laughs> you can have the mic. Yes, back. sir. Let's take a group photo. The music. The what? The music. Oh, we have the music too. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? It'd be a drinks. Drinks and hatchet throwing. That's one of the things. It's not a good deal. No. <laughs> not take drinks at all. It's okay to smile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, as we get into tonight's agenda, if you'll stand with us at this time, we have our invocation led by Council Member Alex Reynolds, followed by the flag salute. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together here to do the business of the city. Please watch over and guide us. Please clear our minds and hearts and help us do good decisions for our city and the people of Muskogee. Thank you for everything that you've given us, all these blessings. Please forgive us of our sins and watch over and guide us as we go through our week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with Finance Committee agenda item number one, please. Consider approval of Finance Committee minutes of May 8, 2023, or take other necessary action. After reviewing the minutes, are there any corrections or additions to our minutes? Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve our minutes. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Here. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number one passes. Item number two, please. Consider approval of claims for all city departments April 29th, 2023. <laughs> through June 2nd, 2023, or take other necessary action. Do we have a report from the Purchasing Committee? We did not meet quorum this afternoon, so, but I recommend approval of the claims. Second. Thank you. Have a motion and a second to approve our claims list. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number two passes. Item number three, are we passing on that one? Yes. Okay, if we could scratch item number three. Item number four, please. Consider approval of resolution number 2947, declaring items of personal property presently in the possession of the city of Muskogee to be surplus to the needs of the city of Muskogee and authorize the city manager or his designee to offer for sale or dispose of the same, all as per attached list, or take other necessary action. Mr. Reed. Our purchasing manager, Benito, will take okay. this item. Thanks. So this year we don't have a very big list, and we have actually taken the step of trying out a new way of selling the surplus this year online with GovDeals.com, and we're actually hoping it'll be a quicker turnaround than when we do our local auction, and it gives us quicker time of storage any questions thank you <laughs> we have a motion or move for questions? approval i'll second it have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item roll call please Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number four passes. Item number five, please. Consider approval of resolution number 2943, declaring a parcel of property, more particularly described in the resolution, as surplus to the needs of the city and authorize the conveyance of said property or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy. 
Good evening, Chairman and, and committee members. This lot is zoned R4, and we were approached by a neighboring property owner, the Roberts, and they would like to uh, purchase this lot. And since it is a buildable size, it's 9,100 square foot, it is located in the 200 block of North 9th. So we did the 10 day required posting uh, for sale for bids and they were the sole bidders of $363 and we recommend approval. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Any questions from Ms. Weezy? Move for approval. A second. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call please. Carolyn Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number five passes. Item number six, please. Consider approval to award a contract to SBC Enterprises LLC DBA at home design in the amount of $92,540 for the exterior rehabilitation of four residential structures and consider approval to award a contract to NCC LLC in the amount of $16,667 for the exterior rehabilitation of one residential structure through the Muskogee Neighborhood Rehabilitation Program or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy. Thank you. I'm going to introduce our new planning director, Jody King, who's going to assist on this item. And I'm happy to assist the any background questions since Mr. King was not here in April. You might recall we awarded bids to a partial list in April of eight homes. This is the remaining five of those. Thank you, Ms. Sweezy, committee and chairman. Um, as she mentioned, we awarded the first eight back in April, and this was a rebid for five other properties, uh, which was published in the newspaper and made available online on May 26, 2023. Those packages were due for submittal by June 6, 2023. After receiving the packages and evaluating the bids, we decided to award four to SVC Enterprises and one to NCC LLC uh, based on the lowest bid and matching scope of work. If you have any questions, I will take them. How much, uh, Ms. Sweezy, uh, do we know how much is left in the budget to do other homes or is or this the last set? We do have some balance in that account, I believe, for three or four more homes after this set. So we do have a waiting list and we will evaluate the criteria based on who um, meets those. Thank you. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number six passes. Item number seven, please. Consider approval to authorize the city manager to execute an engagement letter with Crawford and Associates certified public accountants to perform audit preparation and produce financial statements for the fiscal year 2023 or take other necessary action. Mr. Reed. Uh, yes, uh, currently uh, Crawford Associates is uh, compiling the 22 audit and uh, we'd like to continue services with them. So we'd like to get back on track with our audits and have them hired for the 23 audit. You have any questions? Thank you. Any questions for Mr. Reed? I'll move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Carolyn Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number seven passes. Item number eight, please. Consider approval to authorize the city manager to execute an agreement, I'm sorry, an engagement letter with Hood and Associates certified public accountants to perform review of financial statements and prepare audit report for fiscal year 2022 or take other necessary action. Mr. Reed. Uh, yes, as I said before, uh, Crawford is doing the compilation of the uh, financial data and they will pass on to Hood to complete the 22 audit. So any questions? Questions for Mr. Reed? I move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Pearl Amboyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number eight passes. Item number nine, please. 
Consider approval to spend up to the approved budgeted amounts to utility technology services census for our automatic meter read system or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy. Thank you. This software package is part of a larger project for the meter replacement, which was started several years ago. We are asking for approval of the contract invoice, which is 58400 It is a budgeted item, and we do recommend approval. Thank you. Any questions for Ms. Weezy? Move for approval. Second it. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Perlian Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number nine passes. Item number 10, please. Consider approval for the Muskogee Police, Fire, and Emergency Management Departments to apply for the Cherokee Nation Public Safety Partners Grant in the amount of $50,000 each for funding to assist with supplies, equipment, training, infrastructure, or other uses or take other necessary action. Mr. Evans. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Cherokee Nation has launched a uh, Public Safety Partners grant. Uh, it's well over $13 million in available funding to available jurisdictions in Cherokee Nation. Eligible fire departments, emergency management departments, police, fire, EMS, and even 911 centers are eligible to uh, submit for this grant application. Uh, it's been a very, uh, very quick turnaround. Uh, this was only announced a couple of weeks ago. They've already dispersed. Uh, last week it was over 40 applications funds uh, that had submitted theirs. We went ahead and moved forward and submitted the initial grant application to get the balls rolling with them. Uh, however, we're in the next step of the process, which is receiving approval from uh, council and finance committee to move forward with the process. Uh, so that's why we're here tonight. Uh, we have some administrative paperwork as well to send over. Uh, Mrs. Bodenhammer has reviewed uh, an MOU they like signed as well that's moved on to the city manager, but we're here tonight seeking approval uh, not only to uh, move forward with the grant application process, but if we can make the motion to accept the funds if we are awarded any. Uh, that way we don't have to come back again. We'd be happy to answer any questions. I move for approval and also to accept the funds if awarded. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Any further discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 10 passes. Item number 11, please. Consider approval to accept the recommended bids for water treatment plant chemicals for water treatment as follows. One, chlorine at $1.12 per pound to Brentag Southwest. Two, fluorosilicic acid at $0.295 per pound to Univar USA. Three, polyphosphate at $0.665 per pound to Hawkins Incorporated. Four, aluminum polymer liquid blend coagulate at $0.4497 per pound to Hawkins Incorporated. I'm sorry, to Brentag Southwest. Five, sodium chloride solution at $0.5073 per pound to Evoqua Water Technologies, six ferric chloride at 0.1925 per pound to Penco Incorporated, seven copper sulfate at 0.515 per pound to Brentag Southwest, or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yeah, I want to congratulate Tammy on getting through that time of history. <laughs> <laughs> we do uh, recommend the low, this lowest bids on all these chemicals. These are the chemicals for our water treatment plant. If you have any specific questions, Keith Lumpkin, our plant superintendent, is here to answer them, but we do recommend approval. Questions for Mr. Stewart? Move for approval. Approval. Do have a second? I second. All right. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 11 passes. Item number 12, please. Consider approval of, of the following lowest and or best bids for road materials for repair and maintenance projects. One, number two, cover material, APAC OK Quarry, $16 per ton. Two, aggregate APAC OK Quarry, $10.50 per ton. Three, three-inch pit run, APAC co OK Quarry, $14 per ton. Four, asphalt sand, Arcola Sand and Gravel, Muskogee, $9.75 per ton. Five, fill sand, Arcola Sand and Gravel, Muskogee, $9.75 per ton. 
Six concrete type S3 and S4, Arcola Sand and Gravel Muskogee, S3 at $83 per ton and S4 at $86 per ton. Seven hot mixed cold laid patching material, Tulsa Asphalt Alternate Number One location, $109 per ton. Alternate Number Two, Material Yard, $124 per ton. Eight 12 inch pit run, APAC OK Quarry, $23 per ton. Nine I1 67 washed rock limestone, APAC OK Quarry, $16 per ton. And 10 6 inch Gabion rock, APAC OK Quarry, $15 per ton. Or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart? Yes, Mr. Rigby's going to take these next two items. These are items he's been working on. Yes, thank you. So, uh, just to touch on the prices this year versus last year, it did stay relatively the same. Uh, the three inch pit run did go up by $1 per ton, and the S3 and S4, which is uh, listed as concrete, and that is correct, but for clarifications, that's our asphalt that we use. That was uh, lower this year than it was in the past. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions, and staff recommends accepting the bids. Thank you. Any questions? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, on this item, are we only purchasing materials, or are they also doing the work? Just the materials. Yes, Thank you. Have a motion. I make a motion. Second. Have a motion and a second to approve this agenda <coughs> item. Roll call, please. Herlan Boyardi Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 12 passes. Item number 13, please. Consider approval of the lowest and or best bids for concrete materials as follows. A, 3,500 PSI concrete at $136 per cubic yard, Twin Cities Ready Mix Incorporated. B, 3,500 PSI high early strength concrete at $137 per cubic yard, Muskogee Ready Mix. C, 3,000 PSI concrete at $132 per cubic yard, Muskogee Ready Mix. D, flow fill concrete at $126 per cubic yard, Twin Cities Ready Mix Incorporated. And E, City Pedre at $120, Twin Cities Ready Mix Incorporated, or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yes, so uh, with just like the last item, uh, I'd like to point out that these did go up from last year, but that's the price of concrete. It has gone up in the past year. And uh, the city pay dre line is the minimum that they'll bring a truck out for. Thank you. Uh, staff recommends accepting the bids and be happy to answer any questions. Questions? Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, how do we measure the quality of the product that we purchase from these vendors? Mayor, if there's any question on it, then we'll pull samples. We'll get course or the, the test samples that uh, that we have laboratories uh, go out and check. Mm -hmm. uh, but it should check a 3,500 pound per square inch concrete should be 3,500 pound per square inch. Um, we've never had a problem in the past with any of these products from these two companies. Okay, but we do have a measuring process in we do place have a just measuring in case. Process if needed. Okay. We, we don't use that on a regular basis, but if needed, for example, if we saw a lot of clods or something in the mix that didn't look right. Then the foreman would call us, and then we'd get the testing company out there. Okay. Thank we you. We also do have an on-staff inspector, and we have a third-party inspector for projects as well. Okay. Thank you. And, and Mayor, just to be clear, this is simply for the day-to-day -day street work. This isn't for our projects. Okay. So for the material, we're putting in a backfill on a utility cut or something like that. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Move for approval. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this item. Any further discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 13 passes. Item number 14 <coughs> is a duplicate to, I believe, number nine. So we're going to scratch 14. Moving on to item number 15, please. Consider approval of a cooperative agreement between the City of Muskogee and Main Street Muskogee to promote the economic well-being and development of the community by enhancing and revitalizing the downtown area or take other necessary action. Ms. Bodenhammer. Thank you. This is our annual agreement with the City of Muskogee, um, between the City of Muskogee and Main Street Muskogee. And we have awarded per request to council and council approval 
the budgeted amount for this year. Mr. Luck is here to uh, give you copies of the accounting report for the year. Good evening, all. This is a snapshot of uh, some of the accomplishments and some of the projects that Main Street Muskogee is working on currently, along with the updated brochures and uh, information guides that we're using as to distribute to downtown merchants. Um, the a couple additions that we are working on right now is getting some additional support staff that is working through a grant cycle through Cherokee Nation and also an uh, intern that's going to help uh, cover some of the marketing that downtown Muskogee certainly needs the most of. Um, we also have some projects going with uh, that you're aware of with the holiday lighting. We're working with our Christmas program right now to get the Christmas set up. And um, is there any questions for beyond what we have as far as for our council? Thank you guys for all that you're doing. And it's you can see a great impact that you guys are making downtown. These are great. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman. Yes. One of the things that I know is near and dear to myself, uh, Council of Reynolds and others, is to be certain that as we go forward with Main Street, uh, is that you all find a way to develop a mechanism that is a draw for the downtown merchants. Uh, one of the things that we'd like to be able to see is for those merchants to have Main Street as their voice in lieu of having a separate uh, merchants association for downtown. It makes good sense if the organization we're already funding uh, can at some point build in a mechanism where they actually develop uh, and help facilitate a downtown merchants association so that those vendors can have their voices heard, their concerns made uh, through Main Street with one unilateral voice so that as we uh, move forward with future budget projections and goals and objectives and strategic planning, that we have something to look at for downtown that considers their concerns as we try to grow downtown as a draw for our community. <clears throat> Do you want to speak on that as far as with your committees or you just want to? Oh, I don't think you all give no. us an answer okay, tonight. But we'll take We're that asking you to develop yes. one and then come back and be able to talk about it. We certainly would. Yes. Thank you. Any other questions? We have a motion. Move for approval. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Harlan Boyati Craig? Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery? Yes. Alex Reynolds? Yes. Jamie Stout? Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed? Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman? Yes. Item number 15 passes. Item number 16? Consider approval for the Muskogee Fire Department to purchase a new 2023 E1 fire truck from Banner Fire Equipment in the amount of $597,774 or take other necessary action. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the council. Um, throughout the year, year, as you guys know, we've kind of uh, put our trucks in overtime with all the fires that we've had throughout the city. Um, with that being said, um, obviously that takes a toll over time on some of our aging fleet. Um, as it stands right now, <clears throat> excuse me, we have um, it, five frontline engines that are at least 16 years or older um, that being said again you guys most of us don't drive vehicles that are 16 years old so over time and, and then again all the um, engine hours that these trucks have due to the fires obviously takes a toll um, so we're asking uh, for the purchase of this new engine um, to help us move forward and reduce the aging fleet that we do have um, we do recommend approval be happy to answer any questions. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda. The agenda item. Any additional questions? Mr. Chairman. Yes. Uh, uh, Chief, what is the average lifespan of a fire truck? So NFPA, which is kind of our governing body, they recommend 10 to 15 years that a truck is removed from frontline service to reserve status. And then at 20 to 25, they recommend it rem be removed from service completely. So after we purchase this one, um, how many more do we need to put on some type of schedule so that we can get them all up to speed? All of them? Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pretty much. I just want to know because we will be doing some serious budget 
um, discussions in the future Absolutely. coming um, months. And so I want to be sure we keep the fire department where they need to be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, how many total do we have? Or? We have seven frontline engines and one ladder truck and then two rescues. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions? We have a motion. We do, okay. Mm -hmm. Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig? Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery? Yes. Alex Reynolds? Yes. Jamie Stout? Yes. Deputy Mayor Jared Creed? Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman? Yes. Item number 16 passes. Item number 17. Provide direction to staff related to changing the approved annual gala celebration to a citywide picnic, reappropriate the funds approved for the gala, and take other necessary action. I'm a year to Jamie. Yes, we had discussed, um, had some discussions during our recent council retreat um, on doing something different um, rather than the gala. So we want just to make that official and do a citywide picnic um, in, in replace of that. And we were looking at a, a date in August to kind of tie it into back to the school and bring everyone back downtown. So I, with this, I move for approval to reallocate those funds. Uh, do we have kind of which place are we thinking about doing it? The city yeah. center parking lot, kind of like the old chili cook-off days. Oh, okay. Second. I have a motion and a second for this agenda item. Any further questions or discussion? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 17 passes. Not item number 18. Consider approval of the Oklahoma Music Hall of Fame matching grant funds request in the amount of $55,000 or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy? Yes, the Music Hall of Fame uh, did fundraising for their annual event and they have requested a matching amount for $55,000. And as you know, the city does budget for a grant match fund. Funds are available and the city does recommend approval. Make a motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Any other questions? Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 18 passes and item number 19, please. Consider approval to apply matching grant funds for the Roxy Theater, totaling $3,200, or take other necessary action. Ms. Weezy? Yes, this is similar to the last item coming out of the grant match fund in our annual budget. We do have funds available to meet this request and staff recommends approval. Thank you. Any questions? Move for approval. Second. second. I have a motion and a second to approve this agenda item. Roll call, please. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Jarek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 19 passes, and that completes this Finance Committee agenda. We will now call to order the meeting of the Public Works Committee for June 12, 2023, item number one. Consider approval of Public Works Committee minutes of May 8, 2023, or take other necessary action. Do we have any corrections to the minutes or a motion to approve as presented? Approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number one. Further discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. The item passes. Item number two. Discuss and take action to nominate and appoint a chair and vice chair of the Public Works Committee or take other necessary action. With the removal of uh, Stephanie Jones, uh, who stepped down. That created a vacancy for the chairman. Dr. Hoos is already the vice chair. I'm going to recommend to this body tonight that he assume the position of chair of the Public Works Committee. That would be my motion. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number two. Any further discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number two passes. Item number three. Consider approval to renumber the following resolutions. A resolution declaring certain items of personal property to be surplus to the needs of the city from resolution number 2729 to resolution number 2948. 
a resolution declaring certain real property to be surplus to the needs of the city from resolution number 2730 to resolution number 2949, both as previously approved by city council on February the 27th, 2023, and a resolution declaring certain real property to be surplus to the needs of the city from resolution number 2731 to resolution number 2950 as previously approved by city council on May 22nd, 2023 or take other necessary action. Adam Clerk. Uh, this is my item. Uh, this is just a housekeeping measure. Um, due to some confusion in the past, we had the three ordinances that were passed as uh, declared here in the item. They were given the wrong uh, Resolution number. So this is just to clear that up and uh, make our records clean moving forward. I'll be happy to answer any questions and recommend approval. Any questions for Ms. Tracy? Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number three. Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number three passes. Item number four. Receive report from Oklahoma Department of Transportation Rail Division on potential upgrades to the Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Broadway and Altmulgee Streets rail crossings and take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yes, uh, Mr. Rigney is going to go through this project briefly with you and uh, we also have Justin Garrison from the o Oklahoma Department of Transportation Rail Division who's going to assist with this and uh, do most of the explaining. I'm assuming he's zoomed in. So as Mr. Stewart said, I will be brief and let Mr. Garrison take the bulk of this explanation. Uh, it, in the end of May, Mr. Stewart and I met with the ODOT Rail Division and the uh, Union Pacific Railroad to discuss some potential safety measures that ODOT Rail would like to explore that uh, do involve our city streets and uh, some local businesses. So we want to give you guys the opportunity to hear what they are proposing or suggesting, and uh, they would like some feedback from the council. So with that being said, I will turn the floor over to Mr. Garrison if he is on, and if he is not, I can go ahead and mention that I did hand out two maps. So this is the aerial version of the plans that are in your council packets. And this is just to kind of show you what this might look like on the street. So the blue lines are the potential medians and the orange lines are potential additional sidewalks in the area. Is Mr. Garrison on the line? Thank you. Mr. Garrison, are you there? Hmm. Nice music. Ms. Garrison, are you there?
So, Mayor, with the uh, technical difficulties, maybe we just want to forward this to the city council meeting and uh, get this corrected or at least get him in the room. I think that's fine. Avery um, and I can go through this project, but this is actually the rail division that wants to do it, and we'd prefer them to come up and explain their yeah. their methodology and how they're going to do it and uh, be able to answer some questions that I know some of the businesses may have. I agree, and I think some of the... Please move this forward. Yeah, I think the council has some questions, but I think that'll give us enough time to visit with you and staff uh, to see what we can do to address those. So do we need a motion to move without recommendation? I make a motion we move without recommendation. Second. We have a motion to move to council without recommendation. Any discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Jerry Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. The item passes. We are at item number five. Consider approval of an agreement with Oklahoma Natural Gas and the city of Muskogee for relocation of a six inch medium pressure natural gas pipeline for the country club widening project number 2023009 in the amount of $283,799 or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yes, uh, the city has requested from Oklahoma Natural Gas to relocate 1,423 feet of six inch gas line to accommodate the proposed construction of the stormwater improvements Civitan Drainage Country Club Road Box Culvert Project. That's a tongue twister. Um, by accepting this proposal, the city would agree to reimburse Oklahoma Natural for its share of the total actual relocation cost in the amount of $283,799. So we need to pay that to Oklahoma Natural to continue to move this project forward. We do have the right of way acquired now. And now we're at the utility relocation portion and we're going to have to reimburse Oklahoma Natural for their share of, their, of relocating their line. Wes Stewart from HUB, uh, who is our engineer on this project, is here and can assist with any questions. But to keep this project moving forward, we do recommend approval. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. What is the will of the body? Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion on item number five? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me, Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. The item passes. Item number six. Consider approval to authorize the city manager to execute a renewal agreement with Great Plains Consulting LLC to provide project construction inspection services on various OWRB and capital improvement projects as required by the loan agreement or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yes, Bill Viscotti with Great Plains is here to answer any questions from his company and Jeff Reeves is going to present this as uh, he works mostly with the Great Plains out of Public Works. Mr. Reeves. Good evening. Uh, Great Plains Consulting has provided inspection services for the city for the past two years. Um, they have been a, a valuable asset to the projects department, assuring that all projects for the city of Muskogee are expected, inspected, and compliance under city, state, and federal code requirements are adhered to. Great Plains records records all progress on all projects as well as daily reports on all projects. Uh, logs are kept, uh, weather, uh, personnel, equipment, and re re relevant project data. They also assist in the city of, uh, with obtaining successful performance from the contractors, such as monitoring construction means, methods, and techniques, and sequences in uh, all installations. Great Plains Consulting also reviews all pay applications from contractors to verify the work has been billed that is complete and approved. Staff does recommend approval and we have Phil Fiscotti here, as Mike said, uh, it's anything to answer any questions. Thank you. Do we have any questions on item number six or what is the will of the body? Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number six. Any discussion? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item six passes. Item number seven. 
Consider approval of an agreement for engineering services for the Oklahoma Department of Transportation, project number JP-27108, Muskogee County US 69 grade drain surface, bridge, water, and sewer re relocation with Holloway, Updike, and Bellin Engineering in the amount of $237 $237,500 or take other necessary action. Mr. Stewart. Yes, this uh, is to do the utility relocation design uh, for the things that are going to be needed to do the improvements on uh, 69 Highway Project. This is for 8,300 8, lineal feet of 12 inch, uh, 300 lineal feet of 8 inch, and 1,600 lineal feet of water line. 10 highway crossings, approximately 500 lineal feet of 8 inch gravity sewer with five highway crossings and all appurtenances. And when we say appurtenances, that's meters and manholes and anything that might be associated with the project. Uh, Wes Stewart with Hub, uh, who is also the design engineer for ODOT on this project, is here to answer any questions. Uh, staff recommends approval, and uh, I'm sure Wes can answer any questions you might have. Wes, this is for the widening project. Correct. Second rank. I think just for the benefit of the council who may or may not be aware, as well as those watching, if you could just give a really short uh, overview <coughs> of uh, timelines. So once we get this motion uh, through tonight, where are we with the widening project? Okay, so this is just for utility relocation. And so we're, <clears throat> um, the department is actually doing right away acquisition right now. So. A lot of the businesses and property owners are being contacted and negotiating right away right now with Oklahoma Department of Transportation and their right away agents. And once that is complete, then we can begin the re utility relocation phase. So we're kind of gearing up for that. Um, they have a consultant um, working to coordinate utility relocations. Um, we estimate uh, this water and sewer project uh, to we can design it pretty quickly and then um, construction phase uh, probably be around 12 months. Um, so you're looking at a year from now, possibly um, completing that water, the water and sewer project. Um, I'll have to do some research on the actual roadway. Um, we are, we're actually still designing it. We've got a 90% plan submittal coming up in August and then the following meeting. So we've got final plans due um, in about six months. And then uh, whenever, wherever ODOT's funding sets in, but I believe it's fiscal year like 25 before roadway construction would be beginning. And then it's a substantial project. So if you don't know the location of the project, you know where division uh, one office is on six, South 69 Highway. So it's just north of Peak Boulevard. So the project's starting there, kind of where the old, or the new concrete is there. It's about 30 years old, but um, that concrete, um, where is that project's gonna start there and then end at um, just south of the Old Mulgee intersection. Good. Muskogee's getting the seven lane highway they deserve. Yes, sir. It's gonna be pretty nice. We are excited. Yeah. What's the will of the body? Do we have any other questions? Move for approval. Second. second. We have a motion and a second on item number seven. Roll call. <coughs> Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number seven passes. Item number eight. Consider approval of an amendment to the July 2022 water purchase agreement with Rural Water District number five allowing for an increase in the amount of water usage or take other necessary action. Ms. Bodenhammer. Yes, sir, thank you. Good evening, everyone. This is a water purchase agreement. It's amended to allow an increase in water usage for rural water district number five. And the reason for the re their request for an increase is they have two new growth facilities that are out in the county and they need additional water. Mm -hmm. um, we've gone through revenue or through water department and. Every, in public works, everything's okay as far as the amount. We, we do have that available. If we can get the contract approved, we do recommend approval. Thank you, Ms. Bodenhammer. Any questions or what is the pleasure of the body? Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number eight. Any further discussion? Roll call. 
Herlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number eight passes. Item number nine. Discuss and take action to fill a vacancy created by the resignation of Councillor Stephanie Jones to the Contractors Prequalification Board in accordance with Emergency Ordinance Number 4087A or take other necessary action. Just before I yield the floor to Ms. Sweezy for any uh, pending or necessary comments, I've asked uh, Shirley Hilton if she would serve uh, in that capacity to fulfill the vacancy created by the resignation of Councillor Stephanie Jones. And she has agreed to do that, uh, and I will be uh, making a motion to that effect after Ms. Sweezy makes her presentation. Thank you, Mayor. There are no terms um, or time limits on these um, appointments. The other members of the pre-qualification board are the city manager, a representative from Public Works, and a representative of planning. We meet um, on demand when uh, requests come in for review. And this committee has done an amazing job at being certain that they do everything they can to vet uh, contracting arrangements that are necessary to the city so that we can do the best work for our citizens. So I recommend that uh, Shirley Hilton be uh, assigned uh, to fill the resignation spot created by the resignation of Stephanie Jones. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number nine, roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number nine passes. Item number 10. Consider the appointment of Deputy Mayor Derek Reed to serve on the annual rodeo committee for fiscal year 2023 2024, filling the vacancy created by the resignation of Stephanie Jones or take other necessary action. Ms. Stout. Yes. I, to, to fill that vacancy, I recommend it. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Second. Any further discussions on item number 10? Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 10 passes. Item number 11. Consider approval of the appointment of Ann Barker Ong to the Muskogee Medical Center Authority to serve a seven year term, <coughs> filling the expired term of Reverend Roger Cutler beginning June 1, 2023 and ending May 30, 2030, or take other necessary action. Mr. Reynolds. This is my agenda item. I've worked with uh, Ann Ong on several boards. She's a wonderful person, a great volunteer, and works hard for Muskogee and for the board she's on. And I would make that my motion. Second. We have a motion and a second on item number 11. Further discussion. Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. Item number 11 passes. We have no citizens signed to speak to us tonight. That meeting is adjourned. We will now call to order the special call agenda for the Muskogee Redevelopment Authority for June 12th, 2023. Roll call. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Here. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Here. Jamie Stout. Here. Alex Reynolds. Here. Tracy McGee. Tracy Hoos. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Here. Perlin Boyati Craig. Here. Item number one. Consider an executive session to discuss and take possible action on the following. A, pursuant to section 307 C11 title 25 Oklahoma statutes, consider convening an executive session to confer on matters pertaining to economic development, including an incentive request by a locally owned business located within the Northwest quadrant of the city of Muskogee, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session. B, pursuant to Section 307C11, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, consider convening an executive session to confer on matters pertaining to economic development, including an incentive request by a locally owned business located within downtown Muskogee, and if necessary, take appropriate action in open session. We will now entertain a motion to go into executive session. Move for approval. Second. We have a motion and a second to go into executive session. Roll call. Perlin Boyati Craig. Yes. Shirley Hilton Flannery. Yes. Alex Reynolds. Yes. Jamie Stout. Yes. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Yes. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Yes. The motion passes. We will now convene into executive session. All of those who are not privy to that session, please be excused from the chamber at this time. We will now reconvene from executive session. Roll call. Mayor Marlon Coleman. Here. Deputy Mayor Derek Reed. Here. Jamie Stout. Here. 
Alex Reynolds. Here. <clears throat> Shirley Hilton Flannery. Here. Perlin Boyati Craig. Here. Thank you. Ms. Boldenhammer. Thank you. Um, item 1A, pursuant to 307, 311, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, Council did convene an executive session to confer on matters pertaining to economic development, including an incentive request by a locally owned business located in the northwest quadrant of the city of Muskogee, and no action is necessary at this time. Item 1B, pursuant to 307 C11, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, Council did convene an executive session to confer on matters pertaining to economic development, including an incentive request by a locally owned business within the downtown area of Muskogee. And again, no action is necessary at this time. Thank you, Ms. Bodenhammer. Just prior to us adjourning, I want to take this opportunity to give a kudos to our deputy mayor. I was gone for two weeks to see after my ailing mother. I had to spend time with her and help my siblings. Derek Reed carried on the duties of mayor uh, in an exceptional way, and certainly we are grateful for his service to our community. I also want to take this opportunity to give a thanks to all of our council. Uh, some are new, some are uh, reappointees. We have gone through the storming process of getting to know and understand each other's styles, and now we are norming and forming to do what we can that's in the best interests of our citizens. So I want to say Thank you to all of those who support and make our city great, who serve on this body, for certainly I am only the mouthpiece that they allow a measure of grace uh, to operate in as the mayor. So thank you all for what you do, and now we are adjourned. Thank you.